else I hear? Well, I have this pattern and it's from Spectrum Glass. It's a free pattern that I downloaded a long time ago. And it's, so it's a stained glass pattern, but I thought it would be a really cute intarsia. So I'm gonna try to make that. So I took the pattern and I put on there what colors I want. So I thought this, this is spalted juniper. I thought this would be great for the sheep. And I thought this U would be really good for her arms. And this yellow I thought would be really good for her dress and her hat. And the black, that'll be the sheep's nose and legs. And this little piece of paduk is gonna be for the orange part of the bow. So I cut the paper pieces out for each color and placed them upside down to spray some 3M77 adhesive on them. I like to bend a little corner so the piece is easier to pick up after it has been sprayed. I also have the little machine that makes these pieces into stickers, but as you can see, I am not using it. I do like it, but spraying the glue is just so easy. I'm sure I'll use my little machine again someday, uh, but not today. Okay, continuing on. I like to use a tweezer to pick them up, grabbing them at the little corner that I bent. Then I place them on their perspective wood color, watching the grain of the wood so that it goes the way I want it to go and stuff like that. And here are all of the pieces on the wood. Then I started cutting all of the pieces out on my Hegner with a number five modified geometry blade. The lines on this pattern are pretty thick, so I tried to stay in the center of the line. I got off a little bit here and there, but like I say, gaps happen. Even though I try to limit gaps and fix gaps when I make them, I've also accepted the fact that it's not going to be perfect and that that's okay. I have to remind myself it's not like I'm doing oral surgery or anything. I have stressed out about projects in the past and that's no fun and I don't like that. So I am just going to work with the mistakes and have fun making the project. Next was to begin the rough shaping. I do that with my pneumatic drum sander with 100 grit on it. I really like this part and it is really easy to mess up a piece if you sand it too much. Which I did and I had to fix, but I don't show you that. <laughs> but it did happen. But I didn't stress about it. Then I take it to my flex drum sander with 220 grit. The flex drum smooths out the marks made from the 100 grit and I can actually do a little bit of shaping with it if I give it some pressure against that drum. I used to hand sand each piece with 150 and then 220, but the flex drum has taken the 150 grit hand sanding out of the process, which makes things go much faster. Uh, maybe I should be using 150 on the flex drum and then use 220 on the flex drum. I, uh, but I don't know. Jumping from 100 to 220 seems to be working just fine, so I'm just gonna keep on doing it this way. That's one thing I love about this, you can do it however you want. Once that is all smoothed, then I do take 220 and hand smooth or hand sand anything the drum couldn't reach and put a nice soft edge to each piece. I forgot to make her shepherd's hook. So I thought, well, I could make it out of metal which I still might do, but I'm gonna try making it out of this piece of monkey pod first. And if that doesn't work well, then I'll, I'll just make it out of metal. So I traced the hook onto the wood with some carbon paper, then drew the hook basically by making a parallel line right next to the one I had traced. And I cut that out, sanded it up, and thought it was going to work out just fine. I did have to cut it in half so it would look like she was holding it. There. Yay! All right, we're gonna put some old masters on her now. Yay! Yes. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I wiped the poly gel on each piece and then wiped it off. And Wally came up to visit me for a few seconds and then he was off again. As for the project, I really liked how the colors were coming out with the poly gel. Right, gonna let that all set up overnight. I have to figure out how I'm going to mount it. Or what I'm gonna mount it on. Cause I think we need to have like a whole scene or so with her, you know, like she's the shepherdess with her one little sheep and she has other sheep out there in the flock. I don't know, I didn't figure it out yet. Not sure where that dot on my chin came from, but it was hard to wash off. 
The next day, I was eager to put it all together. I thought it was looking pretty cool. I found a piece of wood. It was like half of a log, so I transferred the project to it. I was hoping to use the knot for a sun, but it just didn't line up right. So I cut the piece down some, and I started gluing it up with tight bond, quick and thick. Sometimes I glue one piece and let it sit there until it is set up before gluing the rest of the pieces. This way it can act as a hold, but this time I just kept on gluing. But I did use some salt to keep the pieces from drifting, and that helped. Also, I didn't have to worry about a backer making sure the pieces were fitting onto it just right. So that gave me a little bit of liberty just to glue them all up at one time. I also used a small brush and some water to clean up any squeeze out from the tight bond. Yay! Oh, I'm going to put, oh, I added a foot to the back of it so that it can sit up oh, a little bit better. Yay! So now I'm going to put a verse on here, but it's a pretty small area. And the verse I want to put on there um, is Matthew 18, 12 through 14. And um, I'll tell you what it says while I'm putting it on there. I'm going to use the heat transfer technique because I'm not going to be able to put it on my laser. Um, yeah, so the heat transfer, yay! So I taped the reference for the verse onto the bottom, and I used my wood burner and the old trusty transfer technique. It is nice to do this once in a while, but I do love my laser. The verses, Matthew 18, 12 through 14, say, If a man has a hundred sheep, but one of the sheep gets lost, he will leave the other ninety-nine on the hill and go to look for the lost sheep. I tell you the truth, if he finds it, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that were never lost. In the same way, your Father in Heaven does not want any of these little children to be lost. I thought this was the perfect verse for a little shepherd girl with one sheep. And it's also good to know that God doesn't want any of us to be lost. So cool. And I was going to talk about the foot that I added. It's a little piece of English walnut that I had cut and glued onto the back of the log just to help it stand solid. All right, I already have poly gel on that. So I'm gonna use polyurethane spray to spray everything and it should be fine. Yay! Let's go to the back. So I sprayed a few coats of this poly all over the project and Cyclone helped me out. Hey, she's all finished! And I really like the, uh, the spray poly on top of the gel poly. It worked really great. And I don't know what kind of tree this is, but ah. Oh. Isn't it just cool looking? Ah, oh, just so cool. And then I put this little foot on there. It's a different kind of wood, but it'll act as a foot and, and the verse. And, and then I did end up putting um, another little finish over the bottom of this after all of this dried. So, and that spalted juniper is just, oh, so good. Yeah. So I am going to leave a link in the description box to my Pinterest page that has this pattern. It's a spectrum glass, stained glass pattern. And I got it uh, years ago and it seems like, well, it is gone. The spectrum glass page is gone. However, I searched spectrum glass free patterns and some stuff popped up. So you can still find more patterns that were on spectrum glass that are no longer on the spectrum glass website, but they're out there and they just make for fun and cute little intarsia patterns. So I hope you check it out and try it out. Yeah! I'm gonna come over here and show you how she stands up. So it just stands up like that. Lately I'm liking to stand these things up, so yay! I think that looks very, very cool. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!